Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another small land vehicle that puts the new update and brand new DLC pack to very good use. This thing right behind me is called the Fennec All-Terrain Vehicle that uses the saddle cockpit. We've got the new size 2 wheels, we've got access panels along the sides, and just an overall great compact design that suits the saddle cockpit very well. So press the F10 and find this in this form menu. The Fennec is 73 large blocks, using the Heavy Industry, Automatoms, Wasteland, Warfare 2, Sparks of the Future, and Warfare 1 DLC packs. We've got a nice offer information about it, as well as the full on specifications. And we do have a small little tidbit at the bottom, where if you want to join the creator, they do have a Discord. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we move around towards the very front, we have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go and test it out, and we'll drive it around on the Mars like planet, see how it handles, and probably end up crashing it. I have crashed quite a few of these things, so there seems to be a small problem with these wheels where they're a little bit wonky. When you go above 60 meters per second, they seem to just jitter around a little bit until the vehicle fully flips over. Not too sure what's going on with that, but you can see that a bit later on. So my character can now bugger off, and this is what we get at the very front. So we've got ourselves an ore detective, which can be very nice for a small vehicle. So we go out and about and scout for ore patches, and then report it back to base to allow your big mining ship to come over and collect it up. We have an air vent with two wasteland spotlights right next to it, as well as a column and a blaster edge block with a small layer block on top of it for a bit of decoration. If we were to move around onto the side, what we're going to see is our lovely size 2 wheels, which are a great addition to the game. Size 3 was a little bit too big, size 1 was too small. These are just right for this size of vehicle. Yes, putting my light on, we can see a battery to power this thing. We can see a lovely access panel next to a cargo container. There is one on the opposite side. We simply just lift this up and we can pretend to do a bit of work on this for role-playing purposes. Anyway, moving all the way up, there's the neon tube just acting as a small antenna. We can clearly see our saddle cockpit surrounded by some lovely camouflage skin blocks. And as we're come around towards the very back, past this wheel, turning off my light once again. We then got a wasteland spotlight acting as a brake light. We've got two unfinished lights for some decoration. Then moving all the way up and looking down, there's a weapon locker for you to store a few guns, a bit of ammunition on your journey, which in this case is a bit dangerous. And all the way along here, there's our cockpit, there's a button at the front, and all the way down and underneath it, past our ore detector, and down to here, this is all we can see. So we can see some small cargo containers with some conveyors connected up to them. On the side of the conveyors are where our access panel has been placed, and over here we can see a small reactor, give it a bit more power, just in case your batteries do run out. And with that done, that is that for the outside of the Fennec all-terrain vehicle. It's a fantastic little vehicle, very compact, very sleek with design, and it puts the new blocks to very good use. So now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, we can come up to the side, and we can play with his little access panels. So here it is next to our cargo container, we just open it up, and that's all it is. We now close it up, and away we go. Same on the opposite side. So all we've got to do is get into the cockpit, first person view, looking around. I do absolutely love this new block. But anyway, bring up the HUD, these are the only controls we get, and if you're wondering about the button, that is just for decoration. Yes, number one is for our brake on and off, so we don't have to press P. Number three is for our flip system, where if we do it like this, we will end up on the roof, then roll all the way over. It's very slow and very safe. Number four is for your antenna to turn that on and off. And then number nine is to reattach your wheels if they somehow get damaged or well detached. And there we go. That is that for the controls. So how does this thing drive? Yes, how does the size two wheels handle? So undoing the parking brakes, moving forwards, this thing will cap out about 50 meters per second, which is very nice. Going above that, it does seem to have a bit of problems with these wheels, but they do start to wobble around. It's just coming to a stop. There is no risk of this thing flipping over, which is always nice. Doing a tight corner. Here we go, all the way around. Very nice. It does not want to flip over in the slightest. Oop, but then, just as I say that, it suddenly flips over and it checks me out. Not actually sure what happened there. Like I said, the wheels are a little bit funky, so I'm just going to put that down to a small bug. Anyway, coming back into here and showing you what I meant by the wheels being a little wonky when driving at high speeds. So here are the wheels. We're now going to put the speed limit all the way up. Now we're going to start to drive once again. So moving forwards, as soon as we cross 50 meters per second, there you go. The wheels just sort of wobble around. They're wibbling, wobbling. And now we take off. They even give enough thrust to lift up into the air and keep us flying for a little bit. So I'm not too sure what is going on with that. It's no fault of the vehicle. It does seem to be with the wheels. But yes, for the actual intention of this vehicle, actual driving it around normally and sensibly, it's perfectly fine for what it's intended to do. Go from one place to another, and scout for ore patches, maybe go to a secondary base to make sure they're all okay, and go and scout areas 
make sure it's not too dangerous for your big cargo rover to come through. But as for that, that is pretty much it for the Fennec all-terrain vehicle. It's just a lovely little vehicle I thought people might enjoy. I'll be linking to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play out yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.